Right, time is at the essence, guys, so I need to hurry up. So let's drink this quickly. <sighs> Just leave all this to cool down and dry out. Uh, I might come here again actually and just park up here and do a vlog here. This is an easy vlog, this one. Yeah, I just didn't want to pay for more parking. I mean, if I bring the car here, it's going to cost me money. <laughs> um, yeah, so parking fees are different here. I think they are. I don't want to pay for parking twice. Um, I'm a bit mindful on time. I need to leave, like, the car park over there at 8 o'clock. <sighs> I don't want to leave. <sighs> if I stay there a bit longer, I'd have to put the softy jacket on and put the uh, marina wool buff. Marina wool liner hat, marina wool hat, and shemag if I stayed here a bit longer. Um, what's that noise? Just the wind. Thought there was someone walking behind me. I can hear stone. I'm deaf, so. <laughs> I'm partially there. It's a lovely view. You've got the Isle of Wight, which is right this way. Behind me, you've got Portsmouth. Bits of Southampton, which is over there. It's a nice location. I was going to do the history of Hearst Castle. I'll do that next time. Not Hearst Castle. Cowshot Castle. I might go back to Hearst Castle to do a day vlog there. So, again. A bit of history here. So, from my memory, King Henry VIII done certain things like this. Hearst Castle, because obviously, I think it was the French, I think. French. Basically, to protect the British Isles. Um, it didn't look like this originally. This was revamped, uh, I think, 1900s. No, 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 no. Queen Elizabeth I, I think, revamped it or something. Um, Winston Churchill stayed here. This was used part of, uh, I think he got a seaplane or something from here. When it's open... I'll do some footage of going in. So it's only four pounds to get in. I've been there before. It's closed at the moment. Don't know why. It's just a little tiny fortification, mate. So tiny. Hearst Castle is a lot bigger and had more guns in that area. Then you've got little fortifications in the city. I need to look at the history of that as well. So, King Henry VIII <laughs> done a lot of uh, funding for this. Well, it came from the working class, the minion. I could say that's some working class. This is probably treason, what I'm saying. But the Queen and the royalty have got their money from us and from third world countries and from slavery, indirectly. Well, directly, but someone else had to do the dirty work. East Indian, country, uh, East Indian Company is the ones that um, paved the way for the British Empire. They were the uh, muscle men of the royalty, basically, indirectly. Thank them for slavery, thank them for the third world countries while they are, their resources are being plundered by the West. 
That is fucking typical, isn't it? Right. There we go. Let's do another video. Clearing down, guys.